Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to Robert Lowe. Robert has been a Beaver Cub Scout, Explorer Scout, Network Member, and is now an Assistant Cub Scout Leader at uh, First 16th in Sutton. Welcome to my Queen Scout Award presentation. So the criteria for the Queen Scout Award is I have to be a member of either Explorer Unit or Network for 18 months. I have to spend at least 18 nights uh, away, 12 of which must be camping. I have to have achieved my goal Duke of Edinburgh and do six activities from the international community and values list and then make a presentation on everything I've done within my Queen Scout Award. So I joined Network, I joined, well, I joined Explorers in 2010 and then I joined Network in 2014. And in that time, I have gutted pigeons, made spaghetti bridges, played human hungry hippos, uh, been on a red flare hike throughout the night, and was able to attend and help out at a Queen's Garden party at Buckingham Palace. For my nights away, I have been in several places and done several different ways, including tents, huts, and my most recent one was a virtual camp due to the lockdown. Unfortunately, there aren't many photos of me on camp as we're either too busy or I'm the one taking the photos. Moving on to my Gold Youth Edinburgh, I have to volunteer for 12 months, uh, do 12 months of skills, six months of physical, a four-day expedition, and a five-day residential. My goal, Duke Edinburgh, has been approved, but it hasn't been presented yet due to the lockdown. So for my volunteering, I volunteered with First 16 Southern Cub Pack, and I became Bagheera. This is where I've done loads of activities with the pack, such as raising money to buy a goat for a family in another country, to earning my wood badge. I've also been invited to attend their Christmas party as well as the different camps and of course played lots and lots of games including Human Hungry Hippos which I brought over from Network. For my skills I became a qualified level one kayaking and canoeing coach. For my physical I decided to try something new as I was attending university at the time and I joined the university's ultimate frisbee team which is a non-contact self-officiating game. For my gold expedition, I went canoeing in Sweden, where the aim of the expedition was to compare and contrast the different animals in Sweden to the animals in England. This is our expedition route we took in Sweden. This is just a general overview of where we were in Sweden. And then here's a closer view of our route. Here are a couple of photos of our expedition. As you can see, we're all wearing our buoyancy aids, including our mascot, Greta. Most of our time was on the water, but sometimes the rivers and lakes didn't match up. And so we had to get out and purchase the boats and kit to the next point to get in. For my residential, I went as part of the 24th World Scout Jamboree International Support Team in America. I was helping on the wood, rope and spars, which is basically pioneering. We also had a visitor to one of our tents, a bear cub called Mona. The next part of the Queen Scout Award is to complete six activities from the International Community and Values list. I had some trouble finding some of the information as I completed two for my platinum and another two for my diamond award and then the final two were with my Queen Scout obviously. For my first one I was I did an act, I was in an active part in a camp in another country and then I had to present my experience to an audience. I went to Sweden and helped the local Swedish scouts to run the camping camp experience for the 22nd uh, Jamboree. This allowed me to become an honorary Swedish scout so that I could attend the 22nd Jamboree in Sweden for a day. I also got to go sightseeing in Sweden and I also appeared in the local paper in the town where we were staying. It was lots of fun and when I got back, I was presented to the Cub section and the Explorer unit that I was with at the time. For my second ICV, I had to run a series of activities for my explorer unit on the ecology of Ashdown Forest and then feedback to my mentor. Completed this ICV for when I did my platinum and at that time it was the IEV list so this came under the environmental section. I chose Ashdown Forest as this was where I completed my bronze expedition and that's where I had just 
That was where I had hiked and so was inspired to run a series of activities about the forest. For my third ITV, I had to organize six evening programs for my cub pack on an international theme. We went, as it was the Football World Cup at the time, we decided to run several different evenings on different countries that were participating in the World Cup. For my fourth ICV, I had researched and participated in a local environmental or community-based project to make an improvement and then present my experience to my unit. So I managed to find out about a charity near my college that was collecting bottle tops, which would be turned into Wellington boots to sell so that they could raise the money for a child who needed a wheelchair. For my fifth ICV, I, was an, I had to do an active part in a project examining own faith or beliefs and understanding how they impact upon me. I then had to discuss my experience with my mentor as lockdown had occurred. So I decided to help the Cubs start to earn part of their My Faith badge before lockdown. So I was able to organise with our local church, local church's rector, if we could visit the church on a couple of evenings. And then after this discussion, I had I then discussed my experience with my mentor over Zoom. For my sixth and final ICV, I had to run a series of activities exploring the scouting values and what they mean, and then reflect on living by the scouting values and discuss with my mentor. The scouting values are integrity, respect, care, belief, and cooperation. And the first activity that I ran with the Cubs was discussing a rough overview of scouting values, the Cub promise, the Cub law, and the Cub motto. motto. And then we went into lockdown, which made this a whole lot harder. So I then had to set a series of activities weekly for them and then discuss it with the Cubs at the next meeting. A few of my favourite highlights over, the, over this long journey. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has helped and supported me on this long journey, especially all the leaders of First 16th Sutton Scout Group. Christopher Dean for giving me the opportunity to go to Sweden and helping me with my Spawns expedition. Sue Tarina for helping with me with both my silver and gold expeditions. Jill Hutton and Keith Hutton for being my first beaver and cub leaders and helping me start out on this brilliant journey. Susan Peake for helping me as my training advisor and supporting me throughout. Keith Axby for introducing me into the world of kayaking and canoeing. Simon Keane for supporting me and being my mentor throughout this journey. I wouldn't have been able to have done half these things without you. And finally, thank you to my parents for supporting me and putting up with me throughout this journey. Now for you explorers and network members who are watching this, you've seen my journey and experiences. Now it's your turn. Thank you for listening to my presentation.